Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer or get data from a CSV file into an SQL database. Now, uh, as data I've got myself, uh, I went to Ergas Developer API. This is an API dealing with Formula One and the nice thing about it is that you can download the database tables in CSV format. Uh, that's what I did. It's basically a, a zip file which you then extract and you get these tables here and uh, what we're going to do we're just going to import one of them uh, into a, um, an sql database now the easiest way to do that especially with sort of you know relatively small data set is to use an sqlite database and a good application for sqlite databases is db browser for sqlite uh, i'm posting both links for ergast and for uh, db browser in the description below and this is an open source uh, free application for DB for SQLite databases. And we're going to be using that to convert our CSV data into SQL. And let me start that, uh, that application. I just downloaded it and let me start it up. So this is what I get when I start the application, the DB Browser for SQLite application. Uh, basically get, you know, nothing. And I've got to create a new database. Uh, I'm just going to go to the desktop and just call it uh, F1 data and save. And now what it wants, once you created the database, what it wants is to for you to, you know, create your first table. In this case, I don't need to create my table manually because what I'm doing, I'm going to be importing my tables via CSV. So just cancel that and we go here and import a table from CSV file. Uh, on the desktop, I've got my file, the one I extracted from Airgast, and I'm going to pick the table drivers, and there you go. So now I can, you know, leave the name as is. Uh, you can here decide whether you want you, you whether you have you want to have the columns in the first line or not. And here you can, you know, check the separator if everything is alright because you know if I pick the wrong one, obviously you can see the data. In the preview is not right or doesn't look right and so hence comma again here uh, uh, as well with the quote characters you gotta watch out if i leave that out for instance you would have like you know you'd have all the data with quotes we don't want that in the database in the database i just need the you know the pure data so i'm just gonna have that and utf is basically universal today and okay so what happened now is that it important it, it it imported the data the the csv data and imported it as an sql table and in here you'd see the database structure and if i you know open that you can see all the fields in that drivers table and the types and here you can browse the data now here you'd have a drop you have a drop down and that would contain all the tables in the database obviously we only have one table right now but here you can see the data. And if I need to change anything in the structure of the table, i.e. field names or even table name, I just uh, right click this one and go to modify table and I just can change the name. And if I need to change the fields, I just double click it and I just, you know, just call that ID, just call that ref, uh, number, code, um, just call that first name and surname and then you know birthday birth date and nationality right and I can okay and then that would you know take over those changes I then I changes I did and if you see now if you go to the structure I'd have the modifications I just did you can see them also here in the uh, data view and every, you know once you, if you want to save the changes you did just go to file write changes or alternatively you can go to control s same effect this same thing as save in any other uh, application and you can also uh, execute sql uh, code in this in this application db browser for sqlite for instance if i'd say now select all from drivers and just go um, there 
you would have all the data here. Now, the nice, th the nice thing about the uh, DB Browser for SQLite is not only can you, you know, import CSV data into your SQL database, but you can also export SQL code out of that. And the way you do that is basically uh, file, uh, export, and database to SQL file. Uh, we only have this table right now, and then just uh, you can, you know, choose here whether you want to keep the column names or, you know, you have multiple rows and go. And let me go to the desktop, just save it as drivers SQL and save it. And now the export is done. And the way that file looks is the following. So it looks like this. And if you're planning to take that data from that SQLite database and put it in a, you know, a different database program, let's say MySQL or SQL Server, whatever, then obviously you can change the field names, you can change the field types. And then here you'd have your insert code, which is pretty universal across all SQL databases. And that's it. So that's one easy way of converting uh, CSV files into uh, SQL. And another thing what I wanted to see say is that uh, here, when you go into modify table, you can also change the field types. You can also, you know, check whether you want, you, uh, whether this should be empty or not, or not null, basically, you can see here the changes, whether it is a primary key, and, and so on. So you can pick all these things, and whether that's going to be unique. So you can pick all these things and, you know, uh, edit your table after you import it from a CSV file. And that can be done for all CSV files. I find it is a pretty nifty program, uh, you know, to convert CSV to, uh, CS to get CSV data into SQL database.